Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronix with another tutorial and in this tutorial I'll show you guys my color grading routine or the steps I do to color grade beauty portraits before exporting them into Photoshop to do the final skin retouching process. So here are some of the images I did during an outdoor portrait shoot and I use a 70-200mm lens so I just want to import one of these images so what I'm going to do something, I'm just going to look and select a random image. So you can see that these images are all amazing. So I'm just going to look for one image that I'm going to be able to import. So I'm just going to uncheck everything and I look for the raw file for this particular portrait, which is this one right here. So I'm just going to check it. I'm going to import that image. So here we are in Capture One. So I'll show you guys what I do to first of all match the skin tones and do the color grading of the skin tones too and also export a sharp image with those nice and crisp details into Photoshop for the final skin retouching and some few blemish removal later on so here we are and this is the raw file as you can see right now and I shot it at ISO 160 it was around midday and I shot it at f5 so that is the setting for the image so the very first thing I do in capture one is coming to the basic slider or the basic options right here and before I do anything on the basic sliders I first of all make sure that I get the best picture profile for this camera and I shot it using a 6D camera so I'm just going to go all the way down and I come to the ICC profile under base characteristics and I'm just going to choose pro standard. So what this does, it tends to remove the magentas which Canon cameras embed into the images. So after doing that, I, I just go all the way up to my high dynamic range option. And if at all your capture is looking a little bit different from mine, you may be having the options on your left hand side but if at all you love it to look like mine right here you can simply come to window then come to workspace and come to migration and you're going to be able to have it looking like this so after doing that the next thing i do i come to the dynamic range rather then i push the highlights all the way down because i feel like we had so many highlights protruding especially from the sun and we had to look for an area that had a shade in this particular location then i also come to the whites and i knock them down just like that then the next thing i prefer to do is come into the blacks and i just simply knock them down slightly then i pump up the shadows a little bit to around six then the next thing is just adding some little bit of contrast to the image but I just add a little bit because I don't want it to be too much and later on I'm going to be going to the levels and add more contrast using the level slider or the levels option in capture one. So I'm just going to come to the clarity option and just push up the clarity to around 5 and that really sharpens or adds some kind of sharpening to the image then I scroll all the way down to my levels option and what I do I just push my blacks a little bit to around 5 and that adds contrast to the image and I also come to the whites and I just push them in slightly so after doing all that I feel like the image is a little bit over exposed so what I'm going to do I'm just going to come to the exposure option and I simply knock down the exposure slightly or a little bit. So I think to 28 we are fine. So let's see the before and after for this particular image so far. So this was the image before and this is where we are right now, the before and after. So I'm just going to turn off the before and after then i'm going to add some blacks and come to the contrast and just slightly knock it up just like that so the next thing is going to be color grading the skin tones of this particular portrait 
So in order to color grade like in Photoshop, we, we have layers and also in Capture One we work with layers too. So I'm just going to come down here or up right here to the layer option or layer panel. And I'm just going to right click on this plus icon and make sure I create a new field layer. So I'm just going to select that. And I can name that layer after double clicking to color grade and hit enter. So on this layer, that is where I'm going to be doing the color grading for these skin tones. And make sure I match the skin tones of this model right here. So in order to match those skin tones, I'm simply going to come all the way down to where it says color editor. So this is where the magic is going to really happen or take place. So I'm just going to first of all come to a skin tone and when you select the skin tone you have this kind of circular or circle right here. So in order to target a particular skin tone that you want the rest of the image to look like you simply have to come to the eyedropper tool. So this is the color picker tool or the eyedropper tool and after you have selected it you have to zoom in by using Ctrl plus or Command plus and you have to look for the area that you would love the skin or the overall skin to look like in this image. So for this case, I prefer some tones that are close to this and as soon as I click there, you can see that it has selected or given me a range for the skin tones in this particular image. So I'm just going to simply use Command minus and this is the range right here. And in order to see this targeted selection or the colors, you can simply check this option right here. And you can see it shows you the selected color range. So when I turn it off, you'll get back the rest of the colors in the image. So in order to unify or have uniform skin tones, you have this option that says uniformity. And when I push that up, you can see that it is really getting the skin tones to really look uniform so you have to stop at that point when the skin tones are really getting all looking to be uniform then I simply prefer to pump up uh, the saturation just a little bit to around I think 50 is fine and you can see that the skin tones are really having that nice and uniform color then Let's see the before and after for the skin tone color grading. So this is the after and this is, I'm just going to show you the before, after, before, after. You can see quite the difference or the difference we have so far uh, come to. I'm just going to turn off the before and after. Then after doing all that, you can come right here and you can change the amount of the hues depending on uh, the kind of skin tone that you want to go in for. So you can see that this adds the magentas in the skin tones and this adds greens into the skin tones. So for this case, I'm just going to double click to reset. And that is for the skin tone. So right now I want to tackle the green area or the surrounding area of this particular model. And which is the green area right there. So I'm just going to come back to this option and I'm just going to select uh, the basic panel right here and under basic still I have the eyedropper tool or the color picker tool and with the color picker tool you can simply click on the area that you want to target and it's going to select it for you but for this case I'm just going to choose the green because I just want to handle the greens in the image so that I can have more attention to the model in this case so I'm just going to play around with the hue values of as a green in this portrait so you can see depending on what you're trying to go in for you can go with this kind of autumn kind of look or you can simply go with uh, that kind of bluish kind of teal or hue to as uh, a greenery of the surrounding so I'm just going to look for what works best for me and I'm just going to take this all the way down and you can as well play around with the saturation if at all you really wish to. So I'm just going to play around with the saturation in this case. I'm just going to leave it around 14 and see what this is going to achieve for me. So I'm just going to leave it right there. 
but I feel like uh, the model is getting disappeared or is disappearing within the surroundings. So I'm just going to go with the blue kind of hue and simply reduce on the opacity just like that. And now I want to target uh, the blues because I prefer that kind of tail look to the blues of the images. Just going to come right here to uh, the blues. Rather, this is the blue. And I'm just going to play around with the hues or the hue values of the blue. So you can see uh, this adds that kind of teal look. But I feel like uh, this is not fine. So I feel like uh, this will be better. So I'm just going to hue the aquas and also hue uh, the blues just like that. That I can have really an image that is going to stand out. And I'm just going to turn the lightness a little bit down, just like that. So let's see the before and after for the color grading process. So this was the image initially before, and this is where we are right now, before and after. I can see that we have a really nice and attractive image at the end of the color grading process. So after you feel like you're really comfortable with this, or if I told you, feel like it is too much so let's see the before and after for the color grading but when you feel like it is too much for your liking you can come and make sure the color grade layer is selected and simply reduce on the opacity of the overall color grading so for this case i'm just going to leave it at around 85 and you can as well make sure that this is selected and you can come and simply drop down the exposure because i feel like uh, the exposure of the subject was really too much so I'm just going to knock it down slightly and reduce on the highlights for example right there and do that so I feel like that is fine for our subject right now so you can now go ahead and export this image into Photoshop to do the skin retouching and the best way to do that you can simply come to image and you come to edit with and you can select adobe photoshop 2020 and right now you just want a sharp image so make sure the format is in tiff because if at all you want the sharpest of your images tiff is going to be a better option and select 16 bit options or you as well don't want a compressed image and icc profile Adobe RGB 98 and the resolution I prefer 300 pixels. The scale is going to be fixed. I'm going to simply hit edit variance or you can as well add some kind of sharpening if at all you really want to to your images before they are exported. So I'm just going to hit edit variance to open the image into Photoshop for more skin retouching and final touches onto it so basically this is how i do the color grading for images using capture one and before i edit them in photoshop and if at all you have found this really helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to like hit the like button so that youtube can recommend this to more people out there ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating